drop, gonna drop. When I asked Wack if he thought Joe blocked the series for years, he said he thinks it's Joe's people, but didn't say it was Joe directly. And he needs to sit and speak with Joe about it, which he said that Joe has already uh, hit him through the channel saying that he wants to sit down and have a conversation, right? So he believes it was Steve Rifkin. The million dollar man. What was your experience like with him? You know, that I forgot to tell you. I said in another podcast, you know, that Steve Rifkin, Richard Isaacs, you know, those are owners of Rob Records. And Joe, you know, they had a million dollar uh, life insurance on partner. Right? That's real? That's uh, Yes, very real. What did I say in the other podcast? Did I say it playing around? I, I told you it was real. I might have, you know, been a little fucking like, but that's, I forgot to tell you to do the investigation on that because <laughs> that would have been something I know it would have been ding. Because you was head. off the Henny, wasn't you? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I don't lie when I'm fucking <laughs> the Henny, nigga. What you doing? I, I stand right, by but, my shit with a Henny without a Henny. What was your experience like with Steve Rifkin? Do you think that he he was in on on blocking the series? My experience with uh, Steve, I met, met, met Steve Rifkin when I was in Loud Records when Pun used to take me. And we used to get mad free stuff up there and uh, it was his day. And then one time, probably like the second time, oh, like the beginning, the beginning relationship between Steve and Pun. We went to Loud Records on our own. Pun took us, me, me and, uh, I think he just took me. Cause Sage would have been in our room, he would have been with me. He called Pun into the room into the office, his office in Loud Records over there in Manhattan. And I went with my pun inside. Um, he had a, a little business conversation with pun in front of me. You know, he was like, uh, okay, big pun, you know, he was excited and all that, you know. You know how some white people, they, they do the, they're gassing you up, massaging your shoulders, like, yeah, welcome to the team. And uh, you know how they do it, they do it special. They make you feel like you're part of the whole fucking American society, right? <gasps> so, you know, pun is still like a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, he knows business. He knows how to talk and all that. But he was a little, like, bashful because, you know, he was giving too much props. So he was, like, a little embarrassed a little bit. But he was like, yeah, thank you. Thank you for, you know, being gracious. I mean, gracious. And tell him, um, you know, Steve, thank you. And they, they kicked it off. They said, what's up to him? I was just there chilling. And um, I, I, I don't even know. I don't, I, I don't think I'm supposed to be in that shit. But I was there because it's my brother. And he told me to come in. And there was no problem. It don't matter. Steve looked, uh, he sat on in his, in his, in his desk and, and his, in his desk in his office. And we was, uh, almost standing up. He didn't really sit down. He even broke the fucking chair when he sat down. That's why, you know what I'm saying? But I was sitting down and Pum was, you know, standing up and shit, doing it what he does. And he stands like this because he can't stand still. You know what I mean? They was talking about it, you know I'm saying? And Steve asked him, he asked both of us this, but he asked Pun first, because that's his artist, you know what I'm saying? So he wanted to know, he said, what's the number, what's the figure you want to get? What do you think, you know, your worth is, what do you, what do you think is a lot of money? So, um, Pun said, Pun said about, um, he said, he said, five million, 10 million? And Pun knows about money, I think I've already seen, you know, Million, like a couple of million, because he was also, but he just he was trying to be uh, humble and not go, I guess, greedy. And talk. I'm a young motherfucker, so I'm a little bit, you know, what I'm saying, more into the uh, anxiousness of, of uh, he said like four or five million. I mean, no, he said like five to ten million, something like that. That was Pun's answer. He was like, he looked at him, he was like, you know, and I didn't know what he was doing at that time. Later on, you know, I understood that you know, what I'm saying, he was trying to get up assessment of what he expected and uh, how he should treat what kind of uh, budget he should have. That was his, you know, business mind thinking that way. And he asked him that question. He asked me the same question. I was like this. I say a hundred million. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said a hundred fucking million. So that's the wrong fucking thing, I guess. You know what I'm saying? To say because that means you're a greedy fuck and you're crazy. But maybe he felt that way. But he never told us that. He never told us. None of us was wrong and nothing. He just wanted to know that. That was a little story I want to share with you. But now I understand that, you know what I'm saying? Smart businessmen definitely, um, that's how they do their thing. You know what I'm saying? But it was funny because we never, I mean, we're from the hood and all that. You know, we know how to talk and all that. But those kind of questions was never really asked of us. You know, we play around the hood and be like this, you know what I'm saying? We're happy when we got fucking 100 grand or 50 grand, whatever. We feel like we're rich because we ghetto fabulous and all that. But, um, you know, 
uh, those kind of guys, they got different minds. They, they, they talk about wealth. You know what I'm saying? They, they about wealth. Wealth and rich is a whole fucking different thing. But they have a million dollars, though. That's how much... And I'm not saying... It's a legal thing to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. The fact that uh, you could put a life insurance on an artist when they sign to a label, the label is uh, in all rights to um, do that. They had a million dollar contract. Uh, life insurance um, with Pun. And then they cashed in when uh, he died. Pun. That's not a problem. The problem is, what the fuck is Joe in there? Why do Joe, why is Joe receiving money and don't tell nobody this. Don't give the kids nothing. That's why when I say, I used to say, oh, my nigga, all you got to do is put like 20000 in the accounts back then and they would have been rich by the time they was 18. That You you could have at least said you, you helped them with that. That's how greedy this dude is. After you, you gained from Pun's death. You had incentive to gain. You understand? You was the team that gained for him when he died. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, stop the fucking you might twin to, you know what I'm saying and, and I'm not saying he shouldn't have did it but do something better than what you did with that you know what I'm saying go about it better more honorable man that's why all the honor is stripped from you because you stripped it from yourself you stripped it from yourself I didn't, I didn't do that and that's the reason I you know I'm behind a lot of things it's always the reason with me man I don't do, go at people for no reason man I'm sure if I get the, that, 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 that story out to you you're gonna if you put yourself in my shoes, you would have did that. I guarantee you, you would have did that. Or worse, I still be having mercy on niggas. You know what I'm saying? I, because I'm not all that. You know what I'm saying? All that where where you know what I'm saying? That that devious with that. You know what I'm saying? It's just the point of you learning your lesson and changing, and no, you know, recognizing that was a mistake and and, and, and changing it. Because I, I feel that's where the reward at for me and you. Regardless of what, you know, you put me through it. Because then from now on, you're going to start doing the right thing. The right thing is really a good thing. Right. So, you know, circling back, do you think that Steve Rifkin was in on blocking Liza or do you think Joe did it directly? The what? Do you think that Steve Rifkin, because, you know, Wack believes that Steve Rifkin was in on blocking Liza uh, from doing the pun series. Oh, yeah. I believe everybody that was attached to Joe uh, when he makes that call. So, but you do think uh, the call came directly from Joe? A hundred percent. The call went directly to, to, to whoever was doing business with Liza. Whatever. Whatever. Whoever was doing business with Liza, whatever tentacle the Octa Beluga have, as far as like reaching, uh, you know what I'm saying, the whoever needs to be notified uh, the right person uh, is definitely put into that uh, industry computer where they will narrow it down for him, other people in there, and they will give him that information and he'll go and make sure that he gives him a call. 100%. Well, man, I'm really excited for when the series comes out. I know that you and me, we're going to break down every episode. We're going to react to it. We're going to, you know, do the due diligence yeah, and everything. Fun, uh and if I'm involved, believe me, y'all gonna get y'all gonna get the fucking. If I'm involved, I'm just saying y'all gonna get the fucking. I know, but you have to wait until it comes out to give. You gotta give the. You can't give behind the scenes information before it comes out, though. No, I know, I know, but you know how it is. Somebody you know, like this is to the narrative of those that think that whack might fuck it up and it might be whack and all. That. Like, I, if I'm involved, the way I should be involved as far as like over the team check the conversation, if. Because even if they don't, if I'm involved, I'm just involved just as a consultant, I'm still going to be the dickhead. If I fucking see something that's not happening, that's not right, I'm going to be the nigga. <laughs> the dick probably get fired the first week when I just, you know, jump over shit and be like, yo, that's not how it went. You know what I'm saying? And niggas want to be like, oh, but, but for theatrical uh, purposes, we have to do it this No, 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 no. I'll be that. I'll be that. They'll have to probably kick me out even my last check the first day. Right. <laughs> so, so, Liza's you know, going to grab that. you and be like, Kieran, Kieran. But y'all gonna, gonna love that because y'all at the end of the day the French product is gonna be the truth. It's gonna be right. dope. It's gonna be the because the truth is so dope. It's just so dope. I swear to you, the truth is dope. And I said this before, I told you about even Joe. The truth is so dope. I don't know why niggas run away from it. They try to block it. Like, why? Well, you know, you know people people like think that, oh, this is just gonna be a, a series that is uh making 
Joe look bad. I'm like, no one's going to invest all this money because, into making yeah. a series about pun just to make but Joe look bad. But just know that bad. we did it. We did it before. The, we actually did it before them. This is what we do. That we did right here with me. Panda did. As far as these blogs, him coming, ex, you know, we exposing things that y'all didn't know about the situation. And us, me talking about, you know, the terror squad situation, Joe and all that. Yeah, we gave y'all a preview and y'all already tuned into this shit. Y'all already tuned into the pun story. You know, we're going to give it back to my brother right there. This is all about pun. So this is actually, we're doing a great thing by it. We started something that other people, that, that actually my fucking family is going to gain because of just the buzz they get from this. You know what's so crazy is that the, some of the fans in the comments were like, uh, you know, Panda, I think that like you and Cuban doing this, uh, all these interviews and, and exposing these things really helped bring hype to the to the series but i i don't really want to take credit for that you know I, i'm no i'm telling you <laughs> I, I don't like to take credit for anything but we're taking credit for this fuck you <laughs> you are going to take this credit because i did we did it naturally and you know organic organically this it happened uh by an act of spiritual god's fucking energy you know what i'm saying and this is what it happened it, this is the truth express it that's that's part of you know what i'm saying uh you know, giving back uh, the creator his rights, props, and and, and and give him all the praise. That's what you do. And this is true. This is nothing that we had involved. We never, I never knew you for nothing. I never knew you for fucking, uh, you know, from the zoo. I never seen the panda like you. You know what I'm saying? Where I gave you a fucking, you know what I'm saying? A little apple and you ate it. And then you came back to me because you remember me. <laughs> this is you not that. So, this is you a, know so crazy? Weep. The The narrative out there is that like, you i you know i'm like feeding you things to like to go do and stuff like that. i'm telling you oh go do this on ig and stuff like that or go do this it's like, it's like these people Shh, really run with that. so they're, much they're gonna give up our secret you fucking little bully <laughs> yo they wanna, let them think what forget, they think, forget about uh fat joe allegedly putting pressure on whack and stuff you know it's really panda putting pressure on cuban being like yo you better do this i'm gonna steal your lunch money <laughs> That's right. And Cuban, he's fucking scared of death. Yeah, he has to do what Panda says. Because, you know. You better. Jack Rabbit is scared of the panda. Before I whack you with my bamboo stick. Okay. Okay, see? That's the problem. That's why you don't, you, you can't get gassed up like that. You can't get gassed up like that. And then, uh, you know, the fucking Jack Rabbit is tough. Fucking, uh, you know, going crazy on you. <laughs>